Hello humans and welcome to the first episode of Quote Analysis. In this episode we are going to talk about the quote from our favorite chess, the Grand Admiral Thrawn. I want to talk about the specific quote he used against Ezra Bridger at the end of season 4 from Rebels. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about, not to worry, I'm going to show the scene right now for all of you. Think you can take whatever you want? Things you didn't make? Didn't earn? Things you don't even understand? You don't deserve to have this art or Lothal. Who deserves what is irrelevant. What matters is who has power. It is maybe obvious why I want to talk about this quote. Tron here looks like a man who wants power and nothing else. It looks like a lighter form compared to this man, which we all know. The first time I saw this, I was disappointed. For Fran, it was never about power, but about doing something right, for the greater good. This does not mean he chose moral correctness, but we know he won't kill or hurt people for no reason. Rather, he will see or feel no satisfaction in killing or hurting people, but will do so to protect his own man if necessary. I have read the book from after watching Rebels. And after reading the book, I understood something. I got a new hypothesis about what Franz said is about who has power. The hypothesis says, Fran has no choice but to choose power in the Galactic Empire. Let's start explaining that. We learn from the book that Eli Vento, Fran's guide, translator and one of his one true friends, helps Fran understand the Empire and how its hierarchy functions. Fran has ideas, real logical ideas that can help his superiors in battle. Fran gives reasons why his plan will succeed, but his superiors won't listen. They are always too stubborn to listen to anyone below them, and why would you listen to a non-human like Fran? Eli tells and teaches Fran that he should just be quiet. Every time Fran opens his mouth, Eli fears it could get them in trouble. Even though he knows Fran is right, Fran doesn't understand this, because his reasoning and arguments contain logic that could help the Empire. Eli is ultimately very clear to Fran that there are only two ways a higher up in the Empire will listen. Either the person in question gets something out of it, this is usually more power, or Fran needs to get a higher position in the Empire to get people listen to him. Because they have no choice but to listen to him because Fran will be their superior. In conclusion, that means the more power one has, the more influence one can practice in the Empire and on the galaxy. So Fran's statement about power is valid. It does not mean it is good or bad, but it is just a fact one has to accept. I believe if the Empire would have worked differently, like this, the most logical answer rules above all. Fran would have liked this much more. It is in his character to go for results as efficient as possible. But at this moment we know Fran has no choice. There is a bigger threat in the unknown regions of the galaxy. What this threat may be we have no idea of yet. But I hope it will be like the Yuuzhan Vong from Legends. It gives Fran at least a reason why he joined the Empire. I hope the threat is that big, because if it's not that big, it does not give Fran such a reason to join it. But yeah, we will see what they have created in the Unknown Regions in the future, I believe. I want to thank you for being here on my first episode of Code Analysis. In my opinion, it is pretty fun to analyze characters their real attentions through the words they speak. I hope you liked it too, and if you have any feedback for me, you are always welcome to give it to me. Thank you again, and may the force always be with you.